Welcome back to the morning blend. Natural gas and oil touches virtually every aspect of our lives from heating our homes and the gas in our cars to life saving medical devices and cosmetics too. joining us now is the new president and CEO of the American Petroleum Institute, Mike Summers. He's got the highlights of a new state of American energy report and what it means for your year ahead. Good morning to you. Great to be with you, Molly. We appreciate your time. Let's talk about this report, State of American Energy. What does it focus on and what does it tell us? So this year's State of American Energy is called Generation Energy. And it's really meant to highlight those energy innovators in this country that are focused on the dual challenge that we face every year in the United States, which is one, how do you keep energy prices low for the American consumer? And two, how do you do it in an environmentally safe way? So that's what this uh, report is focused on. What some of your viewers may not know is that production in the United States of oil and natural gas is at historic highs, while emissions are at 25 year lows. So we're producing more, but we're also reducing uh, the number of emissions uh, that that are coming as a result of, of that production. Uh, it's something that the American people should be proud of. Uh, and that's what this report is really focused on. That seems like good news for our health. And I wonder too how important and why you think we should all know that this is so much a part of our daily lives. Yeah, I mean, so almost everything that you use uh, on a daily basis is is based on natural gas and oil. Uh, as you said in your introduction, uh, you know, it, it's everything from life-saving technology that you'd find in a hospital uh, to the cosmetics that you'd buy at a grocery store. Uh, this this industry is interwoven into the daily life of, of every single American. Uh, and Americans should be proud that most of that product that they're using is American-made. Uh, and it's supporting American, uh, the, the, an American, American industry that is no longer held hostage to the whims of an oil cartel overseas. Uh, that we now are um, the world's flex producer uh, and we were able to keep energy prices low as a consequence of the innovation uh, and the historic production that is occurring within the United States. It's interesting you use the word consequence too because I think it is such a great thing and I think it's also fair to consider this an American energy revolution and I wonder what do we need our lawmakers to do? What should we expect so that we can keep this going? Yeah, so Molly, you're absolutely right. That's what, what we call it. It's an American energy revolution. And you think about where we were just a few short years ago, uh, where uh, we, we really were held hostage to the whims of rogue regimes uh, in the oil markets. And now we are not. So how do we keep that going? Uh, two things are really important. One, uh, Congress has been talking about an infrastructure bill for as long as I've been in Washington, and they just haven't been able to get it across the finish line. This could be a real place, uh, real time, uh, with a new bipartisan Congress to get infrastructure finally across the finish line. Uh, you know, the first thing that helps is with American consumers who want to be on safer roads and bridges, but it also helps energy infrastructure as well, so that we can get our product to market more quickly and safer. Second of all, we need to focus on our trade agreements. I know this is really important for uh, Wisconsin in, particu in particular. Uh, you're a trade state. We need to get those products to market. So the United States, uh, uh, Mexico, uh, Canada free trade agreement is a key priority for us. Uh, it's good for energy and it's great for the American consumer. So we're looking forward to working with Congress on those two big priorities this year. You've done a lot of research and polling and I wonder just generally speaking, what do Americans think um, according to those results about energy? Yeah, so, uh, you know, Americans, 83% of Americans, according to our poll, uh, uh, see that natural gas and oil are going to be a key part of our, our economic future. You know, there are over 98,000 uh, folks in Wisconsin that are supported by this industry, that their jobs are supported by this industry. Uh, and, you know, you may have noticed at the gas pump as well that uh, that you're at you're hovering around uh, two dollars a gallon, which is pretty low given the uh, some of the oil shocks that we could have had last year with Venezuela going offline and and uh, some new sanctions uh, on Iran. So we're proud of what American production has done, uh, both for American consumers uh, and and the uh, environmental benefit that we're seeing as a consequence of, of this industry being strong and thriving in the United States. 
We appreciate your time, Mike. Thank you so much. I want to share the website so that people can find out more. You're the CEO of the American Petroleum Institute. Amazing to think it's been around for almost a century and that this represents all aspects of America's oil and natural gas industry. Thanks for your time today. Molly, great to be with you. We appreciate it. API.org is the website to visit for more info. Thanks again. We appreciate it.